It's time now for your local news wrap. Leah Crowley joins us with details on a big birthday for the Naval War College. But first, she has more on a change coming to Providence school buses. Leah? Kim and Kayla, as we've previously reported, Providence school buses are now equipped with cameras, but starting today, the warning period is over. The district says the cameras on all 154 school buses use enforcement technology to detect and document vehicles that fail to stop for the buses. Video evidence from the cameras will be reviewed by law enforcement before summons are issued to violators. The penalty for a first time offense is $250. The fine can be up to $500 for offenses after that. Turning to Newport now, where the U.S. Naval War College will be celebrating its 140th anniversary tomorrow. The college is hosting a ceremony on board Naval Station Newport in honor of the major milestone. There will be more than 300 attendees in person and virtually, including past college presidents, alumni, and international guests. Senators Jack Reed, Sheldon Whitehouse, and Congressman Gabe Ama will also be in attendance. With your local news wrap, I'm Leah Crowley, 12 News. We turn now to your local news wrap. Leo Crowley has some good news for local anglers. Plus details on a new tool for leaf peepers. Leah? Kim and Mike, starting tomorrow, the Rhode Island DEM will make sure the fish are biting. The department is restocking 25 local waterways with brook and rainbow trout ahead of the upcoming holiday weekend. Anglers older than 15 must have a fishing license. A trout conservation stamp is also required to keep any trout you catch. The DEM says it won't be stocking some ponds and lakes it has in previous years due to potential harmful algae blooms. If you want to admire colorful leaves this season, the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation is here to help with its new interactive fall foliage map. The map gives updates on peak fall foliage conditions across the Bay State. Forestry staff predict most of the state will see peak colors in mid-October. We have the link to the fall foliage map plus a list of the water bodies that will be restocked with trout in Rhode Island right now on WPRI.com. That's it for your local news wrap. I'm Leah Crowley, 12 News.